This InDesign tutorial is going to look at using columns and also guides to, when using it to create a newspaper report. To actually separate your page into different columns, which is an important aspect of, of using newspapers, you go up to the Layout menu and select Margins and Columns. This will bring up a new dialog box that basically will give you some bit of information about the different size of the margins but also the columns as well. So if I wanted to add some more columns, so two columns, as you can see there the page is split, and down, the, is split down the center and three columns and so on. Most newspaper articles are generally broken up into columns in which they'll have the text and pictures within these columns. Click OK and it's visible on my screen. Second part of this tutorial is looking at using guides. Now guides are important that you can actually fix pictures to those guides, which is a very, very important aspect of graphic design. If I go up to my ruler at the top of the page here and I click on it and I drag down, a guide will actually come down onto that page. I do the same across here and let go and it's on my page. Now you've got horizontal and vertical guides. What they're important for is if I click on my object here, I can actually fix them to the guide itself. Now before doing that it's probably very important to go up to the view menu and come down here to grids and guides and just to make sure snap to guides is on. That's just an important feature and I can grab the second object and as you'll see it will snap to that top guide. So therefore I know that the two objects themselves are in alignment. 